सर आपका ऑडियो ऑफ है फ्रॉम वेयर आई टू स्टार्ट सोमिया हेलो एनी वन नेल्सन मंडेला आई वॉज टीचिंग नेल्सन मंडेला एंड आई हैव कंप्लीटेड अप टू वेयर द गिवन द बर्थ ऑफ सम इंपॉर्टेंट लीडर्स आई वॉज टीचिंग यू दैट I like that Oliver Tambo, Walter, Dadu, and Bram Fisher and Robert Sobe Kiwi. These are the names who came out as a that his country was full of minerals and gems but the real that lie beneath the beneath its soil but uh, the greatest wealth of a country is not the jewels not the gems not the gold but the people who live in that country they are the real jewels of the country they are the real gems of the country so the poet so the delson mandela is talking here that our gems our wealth is not the gold not the diamond but the people who live on this country they are the real jewels and it is from these comrades comrades are like if uh, when they work in a one mission they work in the same institution they work in the same office they are known as a comrade it is from these comrades in the struggle these great people who have exercised their extra extraordinary courage nelson mandela learned from them what's the meaning of a courage time and again i have seen men and women risk and give their lives for an idea it is obvious that if you are living in the country and you are living for a aim you are living for the sake of the country sake of the people sake of the family member what happens we are ready to risk our life we put our life at risk for the betterment of our family for the betterment of the country for the betterment of the community we ready to take the risk i have seen man stand up to attack and torture without breaking torture without breaking showing a strength and resilience that to hear the the writer is talking ki i have seen the man a stand up to attacks that they are being they have to be here they have to be here it because they have no any option they have no any choice in their life showing a strength and resilience that defies the imagination 
so they are showing the courage they are fighting against those odd things you can understand it is beyond your imagination you cannot imagine about it how did they bear the pain how did they fight against the odds i learned that courage was not the absence of fear so after that nelson mandela learned that it's a courage courage means not the absence of fear courage means courage means over the fear win over the fear dar ke aage jeet hai the meaning is that somebody say that i have a courage you have a courage it doesn't mean that i have no fear when you come out of that fear that is called the courage absence of but the triumph over it when you triumph over the fear dar ke upar agar ab jeet paida kar lete hain dar ke upar jeet lete hain so that is called the courage the brave man is not he who does not feel afraid there is no one in this world who is not afraid of any things but they are courageous who triumph over the fear but he who conquers that fear that is the brave man so here he is talking that these people are who are ex, so the extraordinary courage actually they win over the fear they won the courage won the fear and that's why they are showing extra ordinary courage and they became such a man no one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin no one is born here no one is taught here what is that you are born here to hate the other people you are born here to to crush the other people it's a not a natural quality of us on the basis of the color or his background or or his religion that he comes from the poor background he comes from the different religion it does not mean that you have to hate that person now in these days you will find your, yourself the right is occurring in different places there is only one reason behind it that you hate the other religion you hate the religion people who believe in that religion you hate and this hatred given the worth of the right the given the worth of the quarrel and so we aware about it that you have no right that you have to hate the other people on the name of the religion on the name of the color on the name of the places or the background that he comes from the background he was born in a sweeper family that's why he is a, he, be, he cannot become a victim of your hatred this is a wrong policy at all you cannot hate anyone by the birth by the color by the religion or by the background but here it's absence of our knowledge that we start hating the people of other people on the name of the color on the name of the 
on the name of the background on the name of the religion that he comes from the hindu religion sanatan dharma and that's why must be hit. absolutely wrong one who gave him right to hate the other it's a knowledge it's absence of your knowledge hate person and that's why you are behaving like that people must learn to hate if they can learn to hate they can be taught to love if you learn to hate the other people that's the part of the life then you have to learn also how to love the other people it must go simultaneously you are not born here to hate only you are born here to love the other people also or naturally natural instinct you can say it's a natural quality that you love the people naturally nature by nature you are born here to love each other then it's opposites you are not here your body your mind your heart is not when in the grimmest times in prison when he was in the prison when my comrades and i we are pushed to our limits when they were punished cross their limits they were punished up to where their heart would break where they would not tolerate i would see a glimmer of humanity in one of the god he is telling here in spite of that he had seen the glimmer means some glimpses glimmer o thoda chamcha hamat of humanity they have so their humanity in one of the gods it is not a happened it is not happening to all the gods all the gods are not brutal and they at least he had seen one god was showing his humility towards him for just for a second but it was enough to reassure me and keep me going and this is the glimmer of humility which gave him the courage which gave him the strength and the life was going on according to that man's goodness is a flame if you think to do good for the others doing good for others it is just a flame that can be hidden goodness is always burning inside your heart it is hidden but never extinguished it never put off at any condition because it's a burning goodness is always there in your heart and now is it clear to all of you hello hello yes sir हाँ ध्यान से सुनो सब कोई कहीं दिक्कत आ रही समझ में मैं रोमिता है कि नहीं रोमिता हेलो हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स प्रेजेंट माय गुडनेस लेट मी सी हाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आर प्रेजेंट वेरी फ्यू स्टूडेंट्स दे डोंट बॉदर टू ज्वाइन द ऑनलाइन क्लास but i have to be bother i have to take my class either you listen or not and again life is a full of obligation 
you have to fulfill the obligation of your family your country your community your parents your mother your father your pa children your son everyone has a two types of obligation in their life obligation towards the family parents wife children second obligation towards the family community and the country how i have to explain here whenever you takes birth you should be obliged that your family has given birth to you you came up grow up it's a obligation and you became a good person you are living with your family it's a duty so you have obliged to your family you have been married you have to oblige to your wife you have a children you have to oblige to your children so the obligation is there and this obligation is very very important for all of you a man so obligation to his family to his parents to his wife and children and he has an obligation to his family people his community his country in a civil and human society each man is able to fulfill these those obligation according to his own inclination and abilities every one is trying to fulfill his obligation according to his inclination according to his inability and that's why he fulfill according to that but in a country like south africa it was almost impossible for a man of my birth and color to fulfill both of these obligation since south africa people are able to fulfill the obligation both the obligation because in south africa a man of a color who attempted to live as a human being was punished anyone who tried to fulfill the obligation of his family he has been isolated he has been punished so you can understand fulfill <clears throat> or those people any one of them who try to fulfill any one who try to fulfill what any one who try to fulfill his duty to his people was inevitably ripped from his family he has been taken out his family and his home and forced to leave how a life apart any one who learn to fulfill any one who learn to fulfill any one who learn to fulfill the duty and obligation to his family members you can understand that they have been taken a part of their family and they have been said to leave like a rebellion like a isolated person a man who tried to fulfill his duty to his people was inevitably ripped from his family and his home and was forced to live a life apart how a twilight 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 existence of secrecy and rebellion 
So what will he do? He will live life like a rebellion. I did not in the beginning choose to place my people ever my family. In the very beginning, Nelson Mandela is talking that he did not give the importance to his family. Sorry, he did not give the people above than his family. His life was very limited around his family members. He could not give much priority to the people above than family when in the very beginning, but very soon he learned. So, I did not in the beginning choose my people ever my family, but in the attempting to serve my family, he wanted to serve his family, that's all, serve his people. I found that I was prevented from fulfilling my obligation. And when he thought, in the very beginning, he did not know. But when he came to know about that, there is an obligation and he has to fulfill the obligation of his family. Whenever he tried to fulfill it, the problem occurred. What was that? What was that problem? The problem is that they have an obligation. They have objected to fulfill the obligation of the family or the people. And he could not, he was prevented. He was prevented. He family se upar ke apne family, apne bachche ya apne family ke liye kuch bhi nahi kaam karenge. As a son, as a brother, as a father and husband, you are not ready to fulfill your obligations towards them. They have been prevented. They have been objected that you do not discharge. You could not fulfill. This is the main problem. Next. I was not born with a hunger to be free. I was not born with a hunger to be free. When he was a born, he was not hungry to free. He was not hunger because he was free. Everyone who takes birth is free, but the time comes, then he was chained by the society, by the rule, by the community, by the situation, by the government laws, and like that. So, I was born free, free in every way that I could know. Free in every way that I could know. Free to run in the fields, Free to run in the fields near my brother's heart. He was free to run, to swim in the clear stream that ran through my village. Free to roast mealies under the stars and ride the broad back of slow moving bulls and he can enjoy riding the bulls. As long as I obeyed my father. So you, he was obeying his father and abided by the custom of my tribe. There was some rules and he is abided by the customs of my tribe. I was not troubled by the laws of man or God. No one has Created trouble to him. He was quite happy. He was quite
he followed the instructions of his family he followed the some rules of the tribal rules laws of his tribe so he was not objected at all by any one of them do you understand it was only when i began to learn that my boyhood freedom was an illusion when he was a child he was free to run to swim to enjoy to eat but this freedom were just like an illusion when i discovered as a young man when he became young then he understood that his freedom was taken he lost his freedom he could not run take any type of action and work according to his wish because now his freedom was taken that i began to hunger for it and then when he became young he is became he realized that his freedom was taken away so now he decided to now he decided to what he decided to get that freedom so he became as a student i wanted freedom only for myself the transitory freedom of being able to stay out at night it was a transitory freedom he could stay out at night go wherever he want to go later as a young man when he became young young boy up to here he was free but when he become young man i am for the basic and honorable freedom of achieving my potential of earning my keep then he started thinking about his basic and honorable freedoms with honor earning my keep he was he wanted to keep his family and he for his family of marrying to marry and having a family the freedom not to be obstructed in a lawful life it was not obstructed in a lawful life but when the meaning is that when he became young when he wanted to earn money when he wanted to marry look after his family no problem occurred to him there was no problem at all कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं था उसको समय उन लोग के समय कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं था बट वेन आई स्लोली सा दैट नॉट ओनली आई वॉज नॉट फ्री आफ्टर दैट वेन ही बिकेम यंग ही रियलाइज दैट ही वॉज नॉट ओनली फ्री बट ऑल द पीपल ऑफ हिस कॉम्युनिटी वी आर नॉट फ्री but my brothers and sisters were not free i saw that it was not just my freedom that was curtailed 
At last, he realized that his freedom was not curtailed, not only curtailed of his freedom, but the freedom of all the people and of the community of his color, but the freedom of everyone who looked like I did. So the Nelson Mandela, he talked talking about his problems. When he was child, he was free. When he became quite young, he realized that his freedom was cut. But when he became very young, he understood that his all freedom was not only freedom of him, but the freedom of his brother and sister. And other community of his community has been But I found that I could not even enjoy. I saw that it was not just my freedom that was curtailed, but the deed. That's it. when I joined the African National Congress. And that is when the hunger for my own freedom became the greater hunger for the freedom of my people. only hungry for the freedom but he was not thinking about his own freedom but he was hungry for the freedom of his country and his people it was this desire for the freedom of my people to live their lives with dignity and self respect that animated my life that transformed a frightened young man into a bold one and drove a law biding a, a, a attorney to become a criminal. So next time we will discuss about this chapter. Before that, I like to talk here that maximum students have left already. A few students are here. Romita is present, Somya Sri present. Isan Kumar and Arusi, only four students are enjoying the class or not. Ramita, do you hear me? Hello, yes. Okay, Ramita, so uh, I hope that it's uh, sufficient for all of you. Our uh, maximum students do not bother to listen. Actually, they don't want to read. Uh, so, uh, they are coming to a school, it's a force of their family member. It's a force of their family member, that's why they are coming to school. Otherwise, they would not come. Those students who are good, those students who are uh, really come to study, they have to study in any circumstances. But here the students enjoy the freedom. They don't want to they don't want to study during the online classes. So this is the bad thing. So I have to say thank you to all of you. Thank you, my dear students. Thank you. Hello. Thank you to all. Thank you, sir.